So this is a part two of the particular bounce tutorial and in this part I'm going to show you how to spawn particles. So I'm just going to create a solid for my particular and I'm just going to set it up, set it up again quickly. Um, I'm going to give it some gravity, physics, gravity create a solid, call it a ground. I'm going to rotate, rotate it along X. Just make sure it's below the particular layer. And I'm going to go to uh, physics model bounce. And in the bounce options here, I'm going to choose ground and layer size. And as you can see, we're already getting a bounce effect. I'm just going to move this ground up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spawn some secondary particles uh, from the from the collision event. So if we go to particular, first I'm going to show you a collision event. So right now it's bounce. If we choose slide, it's going to stick to surface and move along the surface, kind of like water. Uh, stick, it's just going to stick to the surface and it's not going to move, so it's kind of like a snow effect. And kill, as soon as the particles touch the surface, surface they're going to disappear. So I'm just, just going to leave it at bounce. And um, I'm going to reduce bounce, bounce factor slightly. And here, I'm just going to turn off feathering. It's kind of got a lot of feathering in these particles. So we've got something like that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create some smaller particles kind of breaking off. So if you go to auxiliary system here, we've got extra options. If you go to emit, go, uh, select at bounce event, we've got uh, secondary particles created. And uh, I'm just going to change the color. You can actually just steal the color from main. Just put that to 100%. And I'm going to change my main color. And I actually might change color over life. I'll just use one of these presets here. So what we can do is control from main particles. I'm actually going to make these particles a bit smaller so you can kind of see them in between the big particles. Right now they're just kind of appearing and disappearing. You can actually, um, if you go to control from main particles, you can inherit the velocity and that helps us create like a spray effect. So just increase that. And right now they're just kind of spraying up. I'm going to increase the life of these secondary particles. So not right now they're kind of spraying right up, but they're not landing back down. So what I need to do is on the auxiliary system, just increase the gravity slightly, so just make sure they fall back down again. And there we go. So now we've got particles kind of getting created. And, um, I guess this is good for kind of splash effects. And we can increase the number of particles created by increasing the amount here. Can just we can increase velocity. That's pretty interesting. Are we just going to set that low? Um, you can also change the type. Like you can make these new particles stars if you wanted. Although that's going to create uh, extra processing time. And it might reduce my opacity over life. We can add some like more physics like air resistance, wind, turbulence. So yeah, that's how you can kind of spawn new particles. And obviously I can t turn on motion blur.
And if you want to increase motion blur, you can uh, go to go to uh, com composition settings, advanced, and uh, I believe it is the shutter angle that we want to increase. And that exaggerates the motion blur in the scene. So now we've got this like fireworks kind of effect going off, as you can see. This would be great for like a uh, molten uh, steel. So I might just change the color actually, see what we can get here. Make the transfer mode add. Yep, that's the one. And uh, these particles are still a bit big, the auxiliary particles. Can get quite complicated, like with all these panels open. It's maybe a bit better. And uh, we can uh, garnish with a glow adjustment layer. Stylize glow. So I'm just going to let that render through. So yeah, I mean, by all means, have a play around with that. That's a very basic introduction to uh, spawning secondary particles. And yeah, thanks for watching.